right, so it's my turn. I'm going to take my mission instruction card because I'm still learning. And let's see, I see that I look over at Derek's Soul Force because I realize he's just played a conflict card and he had to pay a Soul Force for that. Uh, and so he might be getting low. And if his Soul Force is low and he goes out, then the whole game could be over. So, but no, it looks like he has enough. I don't have any strategy cards for the dimension that I'm headed to. So I might think about taking a strategy card. Oh, it looks like I have this strategy card and Derek's on his way into that dimension. It might be strategic for me to give him that. And I don't have any strategy cards that correspond to the dimension that I'm in on the board right now. So of all of these things, I think I'm going to, on my turn, I'm going to go ahead and get two strategy cards. So I take two strategy cards. And now it's time for phase two. I roll the dice and I've got nine. And so I move my player piece nine places. And I landed on a space lemon. And so it says play one space lemon card. And so I take a space lemon card. And now this is, as mentioned, this is the board. This is the Disharmony Yuga playing back. So I take a space lemon card and it says, I have learned through bitter experience because this is bitter. Lemons are bitter, delicious, but bitter. And Gandhi said that he had learned through bitter experience, the one supreme lesson to control his anger. So we have phrase the cards in that way. I have learned through bitter experience. And this card says, if you want security, then don't make other people afraid. There's a consequence. There's always a consequence in, in learning and that's okay. Um, and the consequence is that I lose a soul force. So I'm going to take the soul force. I'm gonna put it back in the main pile. And now my turn is over. Derek's turn. So it's back to, after successful conflict de-escalation by the team, it's now back to my turn. And I look at my mission instructions and I look at everyone's resources, including my own. And I decide that the best long-term thing for me to do is to take two more strategy cards from the pile because that sets us up for future success, potentially. We may have to enter into conflict with those, but it'll also set us up for success as we all go around the board together. So I'll go on to phase two and I will roll the dice. Oddly enough, I rolled doubles again. I got two threes this time and, I, and I'm gonna move six spaces. When I move around the board, I land on a galactic goat and ooh, it looks like there's a consequence of landing on one of these chaos loving, adorable space creatures. And I need to add one ice block to our current dimension. And we lost one petal from the Lotus of the Heart. It's important to note that when there's no more petals on the Lotus of the Heart, so if we go from 12 down to zero, it means that the game is over. We weren't successful we were not able to meet, to reach Harmony 3 in time. So I'll do that, I'll add an ice block and we'll say we go from one to two and then we will decrease from 12 to 11, the number of lotus petals. Since I rolled doubles, we would then do it again. Uh, I'll do my turn again, but so after rolling the, my doubles, the two, the double threes, I now get to do my turn again. And I'm feeling kind of risky at the moment. And uh, I'm going to gain two soul force tokens for myself. And then I will enter my phase two. I rolled a three and I am now going to move forward three spaces from the galactic goat, which puts me on a bliss person. 
And if I look at the, the soul force token or the bliss person, as we sometimes refer to them as, I can take one soul force from the larger pile and give it to the person who needs it most. And so at this point, I'll look around the group and I will see that our friend Michael is in dire need of a soul force token. So I'll give one to him. Okay, my turn. So should I roll the dice when I get started? No, no, no. If I do, I will freeze. So go to phase one. And oh, it looks like I'm in the dimension for peace. And I happen to have in my hand a strategy card that looks like that dimension. And that's one of my choices. So boom, I have this strategy card and I'm in this dimension on the board. I can tell because I can see the little planet in front of me. And so I'm going to do that. Play one strategy card from your hand in your current dimension. So to play it, I turn it over and it says, play one conflict card. So I'm gonna discard that strategy card. And then I'm going to pick up a conflict card. And the conflict card says, to resolve this conflict, you must offer one soul force and choose from the following games. So I'm gonna take a soul force token and put it in the main pile. I had to pay uh, with my energy to, to enter into conflict. And I have three choices. I can do a charade, I can do a drawing, or I can do an unspoken. And I'm gonna do a, uh, a charade but I have to make some noise so this can see me. And so here's my charade and. Oh, did we start the timer? Oh, no, we didn't start the timer. Start the timer for 30 seconds. Okay. And then, so here is this, I'm just rama, rama, rama. Fish, swim, rain, water. Yeah. Nap uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so let's just say we lost that one and the charade was river. Mm -hmm. So the consequences are listed at the bottom of the card. I have to look at the red circle with the X in it because that wasn't a successful uh, charade. And we lose two lotus petals. So I'll go to the lotus petal and the, the lotus of the heart in the middle of the board and I will, we're, we were at 11, now it's going to go down to nine. So that was phase one of my turn. It feels like, feels like a whole lifetime of a turn, but that was only phase one. Now I'm on phase two, I'm gonna roll the dice. And I got eight. And I moved eight. And I landed, seems like I have landed on a conflict storm. Another conflict card on this part of my turn. And it says, to resolve this conflict, you must offer a soul force. So hopefully I have enough. Offer that soul force. And now I choose one of the following games, charades, drawing, or unspoken. And I'm going to do an unspoken. So we need a timekeeper, 30 seconds. There is a song that goes, I've got the, I've got the, dun, dun. I've got the power. Yeah, okay. All right, that's it. And then you, a, another word for human being is a person. Yeah, so put those it's together. Person power. Yeah, yeah, we Ooh. got it. So, we just de that means we de-escalated the conflict in the in the terms of the cosmic peace force and i always look at the check with the green and it says i can put one heart or i can remove one ice block from the current dimension that i'm in and i'm still in the peace section and we just lost two lotus petals we don't have any hearts in here 
So I'm gonna put a, a red heart on uh, the first heart in that dimension. And we are on our way to mission success. Just a little bit closer. But now at the end of my turn, please do note that I've just used up two soul force tokens. So the disharmony yuga is sort of gaining on us. <laughs> 